uh, this problem is dealing with the density and using density in the combined gas law uh, and of derivative of the PV equals nRT. So this is number 62 and it says that there was an experiment and we found out that 113 milliliters of gas sample, so gas sample, has a mass of 0 0.171 grams at a certain pressure of 721 and that certain temperature. And we want to know the molar mass of this gas. So if you remember, we have a special formula that involves molar mass. And it is density equals pressure times molar mass over RT. Remember, it's a derivative of the PV equals nRT, but instead of N, we're going to have mole, uh, molar mass and density. So we have most of these in the formula. We have a mass, a pressure. So we have the pressure. We have a temperature. We always have R. What we don't have is density, and we're solving for molar mass. So how are we going to find the density? We were given, if you remember, density equals mass over volume. That's always the standard definition for density. So now, in this problem, we have a mass and we have a volume. So we can calculate our own density. We don't have to be given a density. So the first thing we're going to do is find the density, and that's going to be the mass over the volume. And remember in PV equals nRT formulas, gas law formulas, we want the volume to be in liters because that is what the volume, what our R value has in its units. So we need it to be 113.113 liters. Now we have our own density. If you solve this out, it becomes 1.513 grams per liter. So we have a density for us that we can plug into this. We have a density, we have a pressure, we have a T, and we have an R, and we can solve for our M. So now it's just a simple plug and chug, and we're going to get the 1.513 grams per liter equals a pressure. We have to convert this into atmospheres using the 760 conversion factor. We're going to solve for molar mass, and what R we're going to use is the one that has for the um, for PV equals nRT formulas, which is the 8206 um, liters atmospheres over mole Kelvin. And then we're going to have a temperature of 32 plus 273 Kelvin. So once we do all the math on this, you know, solve for the denominator, multiply it across, and then move this down. Our molar mass is going to be around 39.9 grams per mole. So again, we have, sometimes you'll be given a density which you can plug in straight to the equation. If you're not given a density, you'll be given a mass and a volume. You can find your own density. And remember, this is molar mass, not molarity.